Hi, this is the last of the traps, at least for the time being, in the bishop e3 and knight g4 variation of the Sicilian Nidorf, and this is the bishop f4 trap. And after e4, c5, knight f3, d6, d4, c takes d4, knight takes d4, knight f6, knight c3, and a6, we have the Sicilian Nidorf. White plays bishop e3, a move which has become the main line of this variation. And in previous videos, we examined the move knight g4 for black, where black wants to trade the knight with a bishop on e3. White now can try the fanciful, though totally ineffective move, bishop f4, since it invites the move e5, which forks the knight and the bishop. White doesn't have to lose a piece immediately, because he can try knight f5, and now the black knight on g4 is hanging because the white knight on f5 is cutting off the diagonal of the black bishop on c8. And here an interesting position because two leading chess engines differ in their choice of best continuation for black. e takes f4 is the move preferred by Schroeder after queen takes on g4. Black will then try g6 because the knight on f5 is pinned and that knight is dropping. White can try castles, long castles that is, and then after g takes on f5, black is doing much better. After knight f5 by white, Houdini chess engine suggests instead of e takes f4, Houdini suggests knight takes f2. If the knight's going to get lost anyway, you might as well disrupt the king from castling. And in both variations, black is doing very well. Although not quite winning, but with a very comfortable and healthy advantage. So this has been the bishop f4 trap in the Sicilian Nidorf, bishop e3 variation. Hope it was useful and thanks for watching. Bye-bye.